Yo, what is up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. Welcome in, welcome back. As always, I appreciate you folks for stopping by. Uh, if you're new, my name is Silky Creamy and I do very niche review videos on uh, mainly shaving products. Uh, but sometimes I dabble in skincare products. Uh, give you guys my first impressions on these products and then uh, give you guys a description off the website uh, from the artisan to let you guys know what's inside and the inspiration behind and whether or not you folks want to pick it up um, but mainly it's just to bring awareness uh, to some of these products that are out there in the hobby uh, so if you're returning uh, or are a subscriber really really appreciate you so much um, you guys are the ones that make these videos happen um, it lets me know that you folks um, enjoy the content I bring um, and uh, see value in the videos and because uh, this is something that I've always thought I, I wanted to see out there and so yeah we'll just continue to do what we do here and um, really hope you guys are doing well but today we're going to be doing another Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements offering number 65 I think <laughs> <laughs> not even sure i'm just making up a number it's somewhere in the 60s uh for me um which is so amazing uh but this is a i think this is a seasonal um it's something that just came out i think in august and uh this is called a two and so i know that this is an homage uh to brute just to let you folks know um i am aware of the scent uh, I haven't opened it, um, but I am aware of what it is. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the label. As always, not always, but I was one of the first 50 to get this CK6 bundle. So I got the hollow label, which um, is always pretty cool to see. But anyway, you got this, uh, obviously, a Greek god, or um, we'll find out who this guy is. I don't even know who he is off the top of my head. There's the Latin. Very cool. So a very simple label, really. Um, but yeah, very, very um, Greek. And um, yeah, I'm almost like, it's pretty insane to see this, to be honest. like. This label is actually like pretty cool. Like he has like in the background, he has some sort of like print on, not print, but you know, the letterings in, in stone. And then you got here the, the image of um, whoever this is. Anyway, CK6 ribbons in this guy. This is actually a pretty cool pour. Um, not as much um, tall topography, but definitely more ribbons. It actually looks really nice. Like it's not even coming off the lid yet. So this is actually quite fresh. So yeah, this was a limited edition drop. Not limited, but a seasonal. Uh, let's go ahead and get a first scent on this. Hmm. Yeah, so this smells like what I was expecting it to smell like. Like, I haven't used Brute in, God, I don't even know, 20 years. And this is exactly what I thought it would smell like. So this has a very, um, it has a, um, obviously, citrus, but there's almost like a uh, menthol um, hint to it. Some mint, but it's a it's brute aftershave that's what i'm picking up um i think uh what that uh you know would smell like but anyway let's go ahead and read from the website because i'm not very good at uh <laughs> um what you want to call it um uh describing some of these scents because some of these are so well blended i can't really pick them out but anyway um so top notes lavender anise lemon basil bergamot heart notes is geranium lung lung and jasmine and the base notes sandalwood vetiver patchouli oak moss vanilla and tonka bean 
All right, I wonder if the basil with the lemon kind of gave it off this like meth methyl um, scent to it. It has some of that like spiciness in the back. It's probably, it's probably from the basil at the anise maybe. Anyway, it too brute? Sure, why not? I mean, after twee, anything is possible. Admittedly, I am not a brute guy, nor have I ever been. I vaguely remember it being in the bathroom as a kid, but I honestly don't remember my dad ever using it. So I don't have much of a connection to it, nostalgically speaking. I didn't come in the root door. I entered through the Old Spice Bay Rum door, but I respect brute and the men who wear it. I actually think my version is truer to the original brute created by Fabergé back in 1964, as it was originally released as a rather pricey, long-lasting cologne as opposed to the diluted aftershave we all know today as with all my aftershave colognes you will find nothing but the best face saving ingredients with a lasting sting power that would make berry white blush <laughs> in short if you are a true brood fan you will absolutely love this splash okay there you have it that's it so interesting it's I don't know. It does smell like brute to me, for sure. Um, but it's interesting how like there's lavender and basil and lemon. It's really well blended. Let's go ahead and take a look at the aftershave. It's got a slight color to it. I always think brute in a big green bottle. That's what I think of brute. I don't know if it did come in a green bottle, but that's what my, my memory is. But anyway, let's um, smell this for, or open this and smell this for the first time. And always looks like we're going to have a orifice reducer. Okay, this, yeah, this smells. Yeah. This is much more. Um, what I want to say, um, it has a punch to it, the soap does, where the aftershave is, um, it's almost more rounded. It's not as um, edgy. It's actually well blended. It smells really, really like brute. It's got that, um, if you like brute, um, it's a very nice smell. Um, it's kind of i wouldn't say medicine-y type of smell but it's very potent um some of you may not like brute um but if you did like brute uh this is really really good so anyway um again lavender lemon basil top notes and then you've got that you know floral heart notes and then the base of uh, sandalwood vetiver patchouli uh, vanilla and tonka bean well blended um, scent but anyway this is a two uh, which is a homage to brute hope you folks enjoy and um, if you folks have never tried brute i would suggest picking up the aftershave sample uh, but if you have tried brute and you liked it uh, this actually smells really really like it and it's really really good so Hope you folks enjoyed as always i appreciate all of you for stopping by hope you guys have a great day a great evening great morning and uh hope you folks enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video peace